So my Pranamat Eco has just arrived and I cannot wait to open it. It's the lavender one and it looks amazing. And here I have, oh, it's quite sharp. Here I have my Pranamat and here I have my Pranamat pillow as well. Ta-da! Hello everybody, my name is Gabby and I'm a musculoskeletal specialist physio based in London. I am the creator of the Quarantine Workout Plan, which is a program aimed at keeping people active during the coronavirus lockdown. And I am collaborating with Pranamat to show how their acupressure mat can combine with exercise to work really nicely together for people. So what is Pranamat Eco? Pranamat Eco is a self-massage set that basically gives you unlimited access to acupressure massage. The beauty of it is that it can be done in the comfort of your own home, which is perfect during a lockdown. It can be used on the floor, it can be used on the sofa, it can be used on your bed. Um, it takes only 20 minutes to become effective, so it's the perfect excuse to take a little bit of time out of your day, particularly if you're working from home. The way that I come into this is that it also is fantastic to use alongside exercise. So making the most of the acupressure benefits and combining that with exercise. So where does the Eco come from Pranamat Eco? Pranamat Eco has helped over 500,000 customers with their acupressure mats. Each mat and each mat set has a five year warranty, but if you're not sure whether you want one, there's a 30 day trial for all mats as well. So give it a try and see if you like it. The other thing as well is that all mats are ethically produced and we've been mentioned by loads of leading newspapers such as The Guardian. So what are the main benefits of Pranamat Eco? Pranamat Eco has been known to relieve back pain, reduce muscle tension and reduce headaches and it does it in just 20 minutes. However, the first time you use it, be careful, it's quite spiky but it's a hurt that's so good. There are two main components to the Pranamat Eco set. The first is the pillow. So this is fantastic for the neck, the head and for the lower back. So you can place it in the lower of your back when you're sitting in your work chair, for example, and it will fit into that nice little curve and it's fantastic for relieving tension in the lower back. The second part of it is the mat itself. So this again is really, really good for the back, but also can be used, for example, on the legs. The Prada Mat Eco pillow and mat work really well together. They can be used on the floor, they can be used to line your chair, or they can be used on the bed. The first exercise I'm gonna show you is a really nice one for releasing muscle tension in the muscles that lie either side of the spine. So you will have to lay your mat out with the pillow and the mat underneath it on the floor. What you're then gonna do is slowly roll back onto the mat so that your head is on the pillow and you're lying nicely square in the middle of the mat. What you're then gonna do is gently bring your knees in towards your chest and then you're gonna gently rock from side to side. You can then hold this position in the middle here or you can do just one leg at a time. And then the same with the other one. I would recommend holding a mixture of these poses for between 30 to 60 seconds. This next example exercise is fantastic for building our deep core muscles, which are really, really important, for example, when we have back pain. Um, and this one here is a simple one that you can do, again, using your Pranamat Eco. So, on the floor, or this can be done on the bed as well, you're gonna lie back onto your mat so that your head, again, is on the pillow and you are central in the mat. What you're then gonna do is you're gonna bring your legs and knees up to tabletop position. As I come into this position, I'm also going to gently pull my belly button in towards my spine as I tuck my tailbone under. So my back, lower back, should be pressed flat against the bottom of the mat. I'm then gonna have my arms out towards the ceiling and then very gently, whilst keeping my belly button pulled in, I'm going to lower one leg and one arm and come back up again. I'm gonna move opposite leg and arm whilst doing this movement. 
the whole time making sure that I'm keeping my pelvis tucked in and that my back stays in contact with the mat below me. The further out I move my hand and my feet, the more difficult the exercise. A normal amount of repetitions for this would be to do 10 alternate and to get two or three sets done. So a little bit about my own personal experience with Pranamat Eco. The first time I used it, I was surprised by how sharp the prickles of the lotus flower were. However, as I mentioned before, you really quickly get used to this, particularly within the first 20 minutes. I also found that wearing thicker clothes the first time made it a little bit easier and have since then progressed to doing it, for example, just in my sports bra, so that the prickles are in direct contact with my skin. I noticed that after I've done it for 20 minutes, my back does actually feel really warm um, as the blood kind of rushes to the area that the prickles have been. I try and use each morning if I can, um, but I found that if I don't have a chance to lie on it in the morning, that I said putting it on the back of my work chair, for example, is a really nice way of getting my 20 minutes of Pranamat Eco. As I mentioned at the start, my current project is running the quarantine workout plan, which is aimed at keeping seniors fit and healthy and active during the coronavirus lockdown. What the exciting thing is with the prana mat is that I've started doing some of my exercises with my grandparents on the prana mat. So here is now a little example workout that we did together that you can replicate at home. But before I show you the workout with my grandparents, let's find out what they thought of their prana mat sets. Oh, then two the contents. Two boxes, okay? The contents well, one's are one, for mas you. one massage mat. Yeah. One now, can you get massage the pillow. And there's a manual with them. Right. Made with made with love in the European community. Oh, orange! This must be mine. God, it looks like a hedgehog. Gosh, it's prickly, isn't it? How exciting! Right, that's the that's the map. And this is the pillow. And there's the manual. And the manual. Beautifully. Beautifully presented, isn't it? My back good. Very. <laughs> a wiggle or a wiggle. Ooh, that's a nice colour. Look though. for a little ball. That's lovely. Ow! <laughs> they are prickly. Oh, Do you keep your clothes on when you lie on them? I shall try this this afternoon afterwards. I'll, I'll, when we're having a cup of tea, I'll sit on it, Gabs. Yeah, let me know you get on with it. Yeah, I will. I'm finding it quite comfy actually. Yeah. With, I have got my thick trousers on. That's what I just said. It's strangely, it's comfortable. It's warm. It, it gives you a warming feeling. Well, is that what it is? I can feel warmth going up through my back. It's lovely, actually. It's very strange. Rotate your pillow the other way round. Wrap around the back of your neck. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it, I'm fairly prickly, but but it's. A, it's a strange sort of situation, really. It's not soft. No, it's, it's prickly. It's prickly, but it's, it's comfortable. So this is the exercise routine that I did with my grandparents using the prana mat set, so the mat and the pillow. 
Um, it's just a nice little gentle kind of seven or eight minute routine um, that is going to start off in the chair and then we'll move to the floor. I would advise that if um, any seniors doing this struggle to get down to the floor then they can easily do them on the bed and um, they are just as effective. So to start off with you will need your prana mat pillow on the floor for your feet and your prana mat, uh, the actual mat part on a chair. So I did this exact routine with my grandparents. So this is our starting position. What we're gonna do to get warmed up is we're gonna do 30 seconds of lumbar mobility, lumbar being the bottom part of the spine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach down and then we're gonna reach up, reach down and reach up okay so we're going to do that for 30 seconds we're going to have a little bit of neck mobility in the middle and then we're going to finish off with um, another 30 seconds of our lumbar mobility okay so we're going to go in three two one off we go so down to the floor up behind the head down to the floor up behind the head is a really nice way to get the whole spine moving. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest there. Fantastic. So we're gonna do another set of 30 seconds, but in the meantime, we're gonna just do some nice neck mobility. So I want you to draw a figure of eight with your neck. Scooping around those corners. Doesn't matter if it's clicking a little bit. As long as it's not painful, it's safe to work through. Okay. And relax there. So we are going to go for a second round of 30 seconds. Off we go. So down to the floor and reaching back up. Down to the floor and reaching back up. Good. Fantastic. Ooh. Your feet on the mat. Ooh. Quite pleasant actually Very if you've nice. got your socks on. Very nice. Feels nice. I warm up right away. <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably, dear? But yes, perfectly. Oh, good. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do, also in seating, is we're gonna do a nice thoracic rotation. So we go down and up, and then we're also gonna do a rotation. Um, so we're gonna go in three, two, one, hands on the side of your hip, and just rotating round. You want to aim to hold each side for about 15 seconds and the other side. and rest there, fantastic. So they're really nice stretches that you can do throughout the day. What we're gonna do now is a little bit of cardio. So we're just gonna do two lots of 30 seconds. The first one is gonna be marching on the spot. The second one is gonna be punching up and we're gonna take a little 15 second rest in the middle. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go.
fantastic. We are halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. So we have 15 seconds rest. So yeah, we're gonna do exactly the same, but punching up this time, we're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go. 30 seconds of just gentle chair-based cardio. 10 seconds down. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Fantastic. We are now going to move to doing some of the exercises on the floor. Um, as I said, if um, if you struggle getting onto the bed or if your grandparents or elderly relatives struggle, struggle getting onto the floor, these can also be done on the bed and that potentially is much more accessible for people. So I'm going to demonstrate them on the floor. So I have the mat and my pillow. And what we're going to start with is a glute bridge um, movement and I'm going to show two different versions. So if the glute bridge itself is more difficult, then we have another version um, that in the video you will see my grandma doing. So, I'm gonna gently lie back onto the prana mat, so head onto the pillow, feet either on or off the mat. Now the first weight, so we're gonna do a set of 10 repetitions. The first and the advanced version is you're gonna squeeze your glute muscles and you're gonna lift your hips up to the ceiling. Okay, that's the exercise. However, if that's too difficult, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto your heels and you're gonna dig your heels in towards your bum and relax. Dig in towards your bum, squeeze and relax. And that's a nice way of stimulating the same muscles, but if you don't quite necessarily have the strength to lift up, it's a nice alternative. So I'm gonna show the advanced version, do what's most appropriate for you. And off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Fantastic, and relax there. You can do a second set of that if you wish. One last exercise just to finish off as a nice bit of recovery. We're gonna stretch through the lumbar spine. This can be done at the start of the floor-based exercise or at the end. I'm gonna do it at the end. So, lying back on your prana mat, head on the pillow. I want you to bring your knees in towards your chest. Feel free to have your hands underneath and pull in nice and tight so we get a nice stretch through the lower back. From here, we're just gonna gently rock from side to side. can just hold it in this position. The rocking just allows us to get to the muscles either side of the spine a little bit more. And you can hold this position and be here for anywhere between 30 to 60 seconds. Feel free to extend that further. It's advised to be on the mat for about 20 minutes in total um, to, get the, to get the benefits. So. Thank you for watching today's collaboration with Pranamat Eco. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. 
If you would like more workouts aimed at our seniors, please take a look at my YouTube page at Gabby Pimentel's Quarantine Workout and all my contact details are on there as well. I also have an ebook as well that's a seven day plan aimed for a lockdown workout. Um, so yeah, so take a look at that if you like. It's on the iBook store and also on the Kindle store. Thank you for your time. Get in touch if you need anything. Bye bye. Thank you, Pranamat Eco. Very good. Yeah.